celebration to keep our mission of service and hope in your hearts. My name is Ben Livingston, and I, along with Jack Stemmo, will be your MCs for tonight. Please stand at the table as members of the BBHS Concert Choir sing our national anthem.
tomorrow will be Spirit Day, district wide. We graciously invite the entire community to participate with us tomorrow. We also sent some seniors on an elementary school tour today to share our school spirit with our youngest Links family and members. Friday is also a full day of fun activities. We will continue our celebration with fun opportunities, marching band performances, a lift up, and we will end the day with our tradition of Olympic Games. The football game against Rapid City Central and the homecoming dance. It is also tradition at the MDHS to share a good fortune with others during homecoming week. You probably even notice the collection baskets as you walk into coronation. This year, the DBHS tradition of giving is a Sue of Pie United Way. The DBHS Student Council will focus on helping children be as successful as possible, and supporting the United Way is a great way to impact a large number of students in our communities. We will have the collection baskets available after the ceremony tonight and at the football game tomorrow. Thank you for supporting this worthy cause. Now we will have some entertainment from the BBHS drumline. The drumline is part of the BB Marching Links. The Marching Links have been rehearsing since July to put together this year's show titled Solstice. The 165 members of the 2023 Marching Links present an illuminating musical and visual collage that celebrates the summer solstice. With radiating shapes and sounds and textures, you can see them in action during the halftime of walking tomorrow. They begin their competitive season this Friday with the double header in the Twin Cities area at the Prairie Colors Festival and East Week Festival.
tie other people that gracefully jump, flip, and fly the way to success. The competitive cheer team has started this season competing in both Aberdeen and Watercom so far. This year's team has amazing leadership with six seniors, including captains Hannah Bartek and Asia Hilsenrock. The team has worked hard to ensure a successful season. They continue to improve their skills, sharpen their emotions, and add more difficulty into their team. They are excited for the upcoming VP invite on September 12th. We hope to see you there. Our next group can literally be seen running from all over towns in all types of weather. There are 96 runners on the cross country team. There are 47 high school runners led by 8 seniors, 11 juniors, 12 sophomores, and 17 freshmen. We have 49 middle school runners, 6 of which are on varsity or junior varsity teams. The Lynx cross country team has competed in two meets this season. At the Old Woman Invitational, the girls and boys were first. The Augustana Invite, the girls were first overall and the boys were seventh overall. The Lynx Invite is September 9th and is our only home varsity meet. Please come out and support these athletes. The ESC Conference Meet will be October 7th. Metro Conference Meet is October 12th. And the State Meet is on October 21st. With all the meets at Yankton Trail Park in Sioux Falls. At this time, we'd like to introduce the 2023 Grand Valley Homecoming Court. We'll also introduce the parents of each candidate and ask the parents to stand where the child is being introduced. Another homecoming tradition is to have a Grand Valley employee to escort each candidate on stage. The candidates have selected these adults because they played an influential part in their lives. Kennedy Decker, daughter of Jill and Brent Decker. Kennedy's activities include basketball and best plays. Her interests include traveling, shopping, spending time with friends, and going to the lake during the summer. Kennedy's future plans are to attend Northern State University to continue to play basketball. She's undecided on the major as of right now. Kennedy is being escorted by a middle school PE teacher, and more importantly, her dad, Brent Decker. She stated, I chose my dad as my escort tonight because of the impact he's had on my life. I have my dad to thank for so many reasons. He not only helped me become the player I am, but also the person I am. He is truly my biggest fan, and is always someone I can rely on for post-game speech, even when they seem to last forever. <laughs> there was no one else I'd rather have rebound for me, watch film, or drop to multiple different tournaments with than my dad. I wouldn't trade those memories for anything. One of the hardest things was having to see him retire from coaching. He gave him what he loved because of being diagnosed with cancer. My dad is my biggest inspiration. He continued to fight his battle for three years and just recently took on the new ball book. <laughs> my dad has shown me what it's like to love the game so much and I'm so thankful he gets to watch me play for four more years. I can wait for all the pairs of shoes he'll buy me in the future. <laughs> dad, you will be my number one coach. I love you. Jeff and Michelle Thuy. Jack is involved in football, track, and also likes building projects. Jack is currently undecided on colleges, but plans to earn a business degree. Jack is escorted by Michelle Thuy, high school lunch provider, and most importantly, his mom. Jack states, I was able to choose my mom as an escort because, as some of you may not know, she's a lunch lady here at BBHS. Over the last four years of high school, she's been there every day, every lunch period, and every night when I get home from school. Whether it was bringing me the homework I left in the counter the night before, or telling me I dropped socks in my white shirt, our everyday lunch check-ins always seem to make the day a little bit better. Thank you, Mom, for being a rock in my life. Thank you for all the pizza. And most of all, thank you for all the support. Jack Thuy. Haley Birkin, daughter of Ryan and Kelly Birkin. Haley's activities include cross country, track, FCA, Best Buddies, Peer Helpers, National Honor Society, and Math National Honor Society. She also enjoys 
yoga, thrifting, traveling, and cooking. After graduating high school, Haley plans to go to college either in Florida or the Midwest and run cross country. She is currently planning on major in biology and then going to get a second degree in osteopathic medicine. Haley is being escorted by district custodian and head cross country coach Tony Wilson. Haley stated, Coach Tony has coached me in track and cross country since seventh grade. He is a great coach and role model. Tony still runs seven days a week, no matter if it's 100 degrees or negative 20 degrees outside, and most days he runs better than us. Whenever we ask him what his plans are for the weekend, he usually responds, I got a 10 mile race on Saturday morning. Tony is a coach who truly really cares a lot for each and every one of the runners he coaches and wants so badly to watch them succeed. Thank you for being the best coach I could ever ask for.
powerlifting, musical, orchestra, F studies, FCA, collision, beer hoppers, OSA, and Hope Squad. After graduating high school, Thomas plans on attending a four-year university. However, he is undecided at the moment. Thomas is being escorted by his father, high school social studies teacher. <laughs>
They are working to put themselves in a position to make a run in the second half of the season. They tied Nathan on Tuesday and will play a match home against Peter on Saturday. They would love your support. Go Lynx! <laughs> Nathan football has rattled with Roman and Harrisburg so far this season, and we really appreciate all the support at our games. Every player is playing hard and getting better each day. Friday's game is against the Grand City Central Cowboys. It'll be a good test for our players. Thanks for cheering on PB football. I 
of Y members along. What does that spell? <laughs> I always get the Y and the I mixed up. Is that the I before C thing? I before E. Right, okay. Right, that's what it's called. Okay, right, okay. Right, yeah. So I think we got to do it again. Ready, ready? Yeah, yeah.
Goldens. Thank you. 